Oh, we, okay, we do have to do level one, but that's fine. I'm queuing us right now. Honestly, um, I've never done these with more than three people. I assume we're gonna crush it pretty, pretty good. Well, I'm I'm such a good tank. It's gonna be fine. Mm. Do they do they level the mobs? Yeah, it, it's it, your modesty that that gets us through it. Uh, y yeah, it scales to the amount of people you have. Sorry, I was I was making my decision there. Well, the, the floor doesn't seem flush with guys yet. It's only level one. Maybe they're stronger. There's, there's not more guys, they're just strong. It is it is layer one as well, right? So it's uh it is. It, it'll probably be pretty chill. With five people though, buying the um like the anima cells at the dudes is way more valuable. Because mm -hmm. everyone gets value. Makes sense. How good a tank are you calling? Uh, you don't mind if I occasionally just like pull stuff in? Pull right? everything. I, I like I, until we die. I don't care. And then when we die, we'll know. We'll know my limits. What? Uh, what is everybody's character in here? Like who? Who is who here? Uh, Keimer is Doug. Jexy is Linz. Ryan, Ryan is, is e. e. Right. Okay. Sounds good. And I am Degara. A name stolen from a a Star Wars expanded universe novel. Do we all click on those souls? No, only one uh, person needs to. Just one person needs to, but it gives it to all of us. But that one person, for those like heavily bound souls, has to do all four on the outsides and then the middle as well. Well, people. Which is something know. I always forget. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, kill it. I'm not gonna lie. The uh, Bastion ability for Paladins is one of the most fun things. One of the most fun buttons you can click. What is what it? it? It throws out five of my Avenger shields to five different dudes. Hmm. It's like, it just looks awesome. For me, uh, like I get when you're really good at Rogue, Having the uh, echoing reprimand, which like has you use your combo points at a specific point for more power. I feel like that would be really fun if you were really good at rogue, but I'm like not good enough. You should you should work on that. Honestly, it's supposed to be I'm, very broken. I'm practicing it, uh, and I'm getting better at it. But it's like I think I'm still such a beginner with with my rogue that. Um, Pull it's everything. Tricky. It's tricky for me. I'm just gonna run around in moonfire. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I could pull guys better. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, paladins have a lot of strengths. They just unfortunately can't pull at range very, uh, very easily. But can't you like uh, throw out five shields? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're used. It. <laughs> it's got a one minute cooldown. Yeah. That's the other thing is like I've got these big cooldown, like these sweet big cooldown moves on my monk. I don't have anything like that on my rogue. It's like I just uh, have all the same. Adrenaline rush is then your main one. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But like, it's not fun to use. Not you know, really. Like, no. I, I kind of you kind of yell and like I guess you're a little bit better at killing for a bit. But like, anyway, I can stop complaining about my rogue. My, my rogue is level 38, he's outlaw as well, and I am awful with him. Thank you for saying so. So, yeah, I blame I blame the class. Honestly, rogue I've sucks never this tried expansion. Out. I remember finding it the hardest out of the three. So I've been playing but it I do since like rolling the bone. <laughs> I've been I've been playing it since Legion and I like it a lot, but this expansion is actually very difficult. Rogue is very squishy this expansion. But like I don't have any other characters that I need to like pay attention to buffs and stuff. Like I need to be watching like when slice and dice is, is up and all that stuff. So I um, always go I always just try and do it. Like, I, I can show you my build. I, I, we meant to do this. Before. I know we've we've looked at it a couple of times, and it's uh, it's helpful-ish, but it's also like you have to get used to the rotation too. So it's just like I just have to put in the work to get better at it. Yeah, it's what I've been playing for eight years, so I know it best compared to other classes. I've always liked the quickness of the rogue. It's, I don't know. I like the finger combos, like being able to move around quickly, quick footwork and stuff. I like being able Fire. to stealth pass most of the content. Well, that's... <laughs> I just, out of all the other ones that I've played, this one seems to be the fastest. Well, what, uh, what type of rogue are you... Uh... Lens? Uh, subtlety. Yeah. I, uh, I've pretty much only ever played, like, so I've never played Rogue except for this this expansion, and I just have that Outlaw Rogue, so I'm not too familiar with uh, the abilities of all the classes, or uh, the other um, specs, I should say. Before this all, like, years ago i used to love ambush and uh shadow step combo and they kind of separated that for me with this one but i like the way this one is now i've been meaning for a while to, to change it up and get off out of law but like it's so hard to find weapons like i got good yeah, swords i don't have a good dagger Right, because you have to have like dual daggers for the other classes, don't you? Or the other specs for them? Subtlety, I think you can have one dagger and one anything. And assassination, I think you need dual daggers. I just like the idea of having the pistol. Like that's that's the reason I chose Outlaw, because I was like, oh, a pistol. I'm the kind of, like, I am a rogue, you know? Like I'm a, like a rogue in the sense, like you think of a rogue. Like a Wild West kind of? Yeah, exactly, you know? Decent powers, really. Oh, I was just about to complain that I haven't gotten anything good yet.
You make it look so easy. No longer able to jump. I mean, that talent's definitely worth it, but I do miss jumping. Like, I, I don't realize how much I just hit the jump button until you can't do it anymore. See, I never do until I pick that, and then I'm like, I want to jump. I feel like it's the, uh, the backup one for me. It's like, you can't walk backward. And it's I like, can't take that one. As I mage, rely so backward. much on walking backward. It's like I even do it as my warrior because I, I want to back up enough so I can get in charge range. And I'm like, why aren't I moving? Yeah, it throws you off so much. Okay, we gotta buy guys, coded notes. I love. I'll let you guys tell us what we should buy. Well, so long as someone can afford the anima cells, because everyone benefits from those, and then you guys buy whatever you want. I'll I'll pick up the ravenous anima cell. I'll get the two other anima cells. Well, you guys are blowing on your, blowing on your phantasma. What should I what should I pick? Anything? Yeah, if any of them are good for you. Me, I like these. Everybody else. I did, I did the first three or four Torghast, just hoarding that stuff, thinking that it, it helped me outside of Torghast. That's tough. Didn't buy anything. Ooh, Colin, that's... you bought coded notes, right? I did, and I also bought a the requisitioned animus cell. Okay, I can't complain about getting bad, uh, bad animus anymore. I'm I'm set. Nice. Mine are like, like, anytime I do a finishing move, my next move granting a combo point will That's be like a good 150 percent more powerful. That's oh, actually a really good one. Really good. It's really good. It's like a gray one, so it doesn't look fancy, but it's really good. That one can stack up to, I think, 450% as well. I've got 450% right now. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I've, I've stacked her big time. Yeah, I guess that, like, Rogue has good ones. They're just, they don't feel flashy like uh, some of the other ones do. Yeah, I guess that's the issue more than anything. Oh, throw your evidence anima cell at this uh, Fey Leaf Warden. Okay. You just realized I only used one of my things, so I'll use the other one whenever you want. Yeah, like now it's fine. <laughs> oh, hello, gentlemen. Oh, it's an ambush. I also feel like um, become able to see which enemies carry anima with the way we play doesn't help at all. Yeah, it, you're absolutely yeah, correct. Yeah, because we clear I, the whole floor. I used to think that that would be like amazing, but then like we just end up clearing everything. Yeah, that makes no difference. Sorry, I made you guys all bugs. Yeah, what? no. This is. This is the Fey Wing? I have never gotten this one. Yeah, this no, awesome. that's, this is why I told you to do it, because it, it's just, it makes moving through Torghast so much better. Oh my god, it is literally the best ever. It's like way better than all the other movement ones.
Can I get a tank over here? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, E, your your single target damage is very high. Yeah, I'm I'm focusing on getting the echoing recommend. I've I've gotten an anima power that means there's no cooldown on it. So I'm just focusing on that basically. I don't think that guy did any damage. A oh, poor guy. It's gotta just, be hard on you. He's just trying to earn a living. Like they're like, he's got like he's got triplets at home, and uh, they're like, hey, we've got this position open. Shouldn't be so fertile. Find buttons. That button's always getting lost. Okay, but actually, though, last time we did Torghast as a group, uh, we had a quest that most people just took off instead of finishing. That's true. So just. Alcohol's a factor in Torghast. <laughs> just don't take off. Like, sometimes it's better to just be easy. Really? Is that. Did I do that? I no, had you like were the four, only one that was back. four of us you, did. <laughs> you were the only one that was still with me when I was like, oh, we didn't finish this quest. And like, we found the guy. I don't even remember that. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. You should yeah. fucking pause this. Oh, it was Alright, my mic's open, sorry. Listening to some sweet Mario underwater music. Dang Dang Docks? No, it's not Ding Dang Docks. Like Super Mario 3, like... No, this one I think is from... Uh, it might be from Odyssey? One second, it might not even be from Mario. It's from Mario Galaxy. A game I did not play, because it actually gave me, like... No ga no games give me motion sickness, except Mario Galaxy did. I got pretty far through Mario Galaxy, um, but I never did finish it. Guys, quit pulling threat. I need to pull mad? everything. What is this thing? Who put that down? Alright. We got buttons. I fell in a pit, but... Oh my gosh, I can't get out. That's where you live now. <laughs> okay. Later! Check you later.
The only thing about uh, this turning into bugs all the time is I use um, the visual cue to make sure that I'm in the right shapeshift form. Rip. You're in the right ship shapeshift form. Well, I, I am bugs. now. bugs. Oh. <laughs> bugs is the way. Shapeshift into bugs. Okay, everyone got the anima on the left and the right? I believe so, yes. I did. Okay. Everyone's responsible for their own anima. Last floor, ladies and gentlemen. I got quite a bit of Phantasma. I'll buy one of the Anima cells. Yeah, I took a couple of them too. I got 700. Oh shit. My, my choices have been pretty limited. Also buy the Ice Encrusted Debris, honey. Thank you. Just don't Please don't say Debris anymore. <laughs> What's wrong with my Debris? I wonder what happens if you get the thing where you can't jump and then you buy greatly increase the power of your jumps. You can't jump still. Uh, also, I don't think it offers it to you after. Hmm. I'm pretty sure... I, I want to say we got them both on a run, but... I, am, I, I, I have a, I have a feeling you can't, you can't jump. It's like if you could jump, you could greatly jump, but you can't jump anymore. I'm coming to realize that a lot of my animal powers have benefit me if I'm playing alone. Yeah, like lots of lots of polymorph stuff that's useless when in a group, you know. It's Goxel the Devourer. Goxel. Yeah. I'm good to go. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna ask Steward to buff us. Oh, that's that's really powerful, by the way. Is it? Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah, but it only lasts ten seconds. Yeah, but he throws the pot out to different people, and he sticks around. Good God, we destroyed that dude. Uh, yeah, our, our DPS on, I do have DPS meters and our DPS on that fight was pretty good. <laughs> um, can you just do me a favor? And like, if you feel like somebody's maybe not using the right abilities, can you just keep that to yourself? Oh, uh, I, that's, that's okay. I just, I, uh, don't worry, Elizabeth. I just keep telling myself that. <laughs> Shall we do, should we do floor two? Yeah, I'm down. I'm, this is fun for me. Like, I really enjoy this. So. Wait, are we, we yeah, done? then you're done. This, Dude, this make is sure pretty you chill. Last so. I did. Actually, hold on. Uh, Let's go all. back to Orbos and hand this in. The ash to... that you get is all you want. That's the only thing we're in there for. Soul ash. There you okay, go. Mr. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Oh, you also got a soul touch key. Well, we, we should all, uh, well, those of us with quests should go back to Orbos first. Yeah. And it, Jesus, and we'll Dave! Did you blow all your cooldowns? You, your DPS is insane. Um, no, I blew your your po your potion on that one. 
Like, that's the only reason why it got that high, is I finally was guys, like, oh yeah, I forgot, guys, Doug gave me these pots. This is a family show. I didn't think to use one. <laughs> Quit blowing stuff on my show. <laughs> I definitely took some performance-enhancing drugs on that last one. Courtesy of Doug. <laughs> okay, we're doing a quick bio, both of us. We'll be back. I will also do a bio. Rescue Jaina Proudmore. So we won't do that tonight because that's one of the instanced ones and it doesn't advance anyone. Oh, we can play with the crew. We that's could, fine. but it doesn't advance anybody. That's fine. I mean, it's not like a. No rush. We'll do it ourselves. If we, if we keep doing layered ones, it's better. What do you mean, layered? Like, we'll, we'll go to layer 2 next, and then layer 3. Yeah. Unlocking layer 3 is actually going to be good. Um, because people get memories from layer 3s. Oh yeah, that's cool. I've been listening to this one YouTube video so many times that it comes up every second video on autoplay. Holy crap, hun. But it's so yeah. good. It's like this, uh, it's a mix of video game songs that have been like, that are just remixes of songs and they're all like really good. Do you, do you pay for premium YouTube premium? I do. I use YouTube enough that like ten bucks a month is one hundred percent worth it. Yeah, YouTube like is like, like for us, it's it's all of our music. It's a lot of our like just chilling. Like we we're on YouTube all the time. Yeah, us too, and YouTube Music too, which is really nice. Like, yeah, you can find anything, and like I just tell one of our Google Homes, you know, play this, and it's good. Well, you guys have a Google Home. Or so do we. You just won't let me plug it in. We, we have, have them in every corner we have of our like house. Seven of them. I'm a I'm a total hypocrite. Like we literally we have a PlayStation VR that listens to everything we say and interrupts our shows when it thinks we said PlayStation. So like our show will say something like uh, presentation, and then our PlayStation will be like, "Are you talking to me?" So we're clearly being listened to constantly. But for whatever reason, I have this hang up about like Amazon Echoes or like Google Homes. Like I, I don't want it in the house, even though we already literally have it in the house. They're so, so helpful. Like every, like the kids use them and, and I mean, we use them everywhere we go. You get spoiled because you get what used you, to using them. Like, what do you use it for though? Like what, what well, do you use it? They, so all we have a, two, like a double speaker system. And so we have two of them in the living room. So a kitchen, living room area. So we have them. So it's a stereo surround sound. We have them in the bathroom, in the bedrooms. Um, so they turn on lights. They turn on TVs. They control our. They control our TVs. So we can tell the TV, hey, put on this movie. Turn on the TV and put this movie on, or Netflix and put this show on or play this song. And like it just everything is voice command. Like our, we're pretty spoiled. Like just you can pretty much do whatever like we our our standing lamps are but you you then you can also do a broadcast to the whole house 
Right, so you could be like, okay, kiddos, it's time for dinner, or like except whatever. Except that then we showed the kids how to do that. That was a bad idea. Was so and they're just like, hey, everyone, butts. <laughs> exactly. Which is what I would have yes. done. That was probably word for word. <laughs> but they have like they have this game that they play, and they they can talk like they tell the Google Home to play these songs. So like they know the names of these songs from their game, and they so they're always playing these songs on the one down here is it yeah, smart enough like you've got it hooked up to a bunch of different speakers throughout the house it's smart enough to know which speakers to use yeah we have them just... all named so they're all oh, named like okay. upstairs speaker like we have the bathroom speaker we have the upstairs tv like bedroom tv living room tv downstairs tv so it's all they it knows everything that we have wow that's like very uh integrated I struggled a bit with the router. Um, the router didn't like so many devices. And it took a while to get it working, but now it's working okay. Yeah, also a lot of smart devices only work on the 2.4, which can sometimes be uh, temperamental. But like, yeah, Google Home's awesome. Sometimes you can be like, hey, Google, tell me you love me. I sure do. Together, where is winning as one of the world's all-time great teams? Want to answer a few quick questions so we can figure out our special kind of bond? Um, that's hilarious. I love those Easter eggs. That's the most delightful thing about those, like, creepy, I listen to you all the time. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you just said. I sure do. <laughs> She's waiting for a response. One of the world's all-time great teams. Want to answer a few quick questions so no, we can figure no. out our special kind of bond? No, Google, I don't want to answer any questions. No. Oh, okay. Fuck okay. you. Okay, try again later if you want. If I want. <laughs> that was kind of, there I was mean, a... If you was, want, like, no pressure. Yeah. Like, some <laughs> passive aggressiveness there. Yeah. Random guys. Who puts down the spiral orb? That would be Doug. That's me. What does that do? It does a little bit of damage itself, but mostly it, it gives me more icicles to fire. Which, you know, you don't know what that is either, but it gives me another ability. It does a little bit of damage as it moves along, though. I think mostly it just looks cool. It does look really cool. That's why I was asking. That's the end boss, so let's go clear up here. Hey, Savage Roar, or whatever it's called. Never got used to playing a druid. I love the mobility of my druid, and when I go to any other character afterwards, I just feel like I'm moving so slow.
Again, my mic is open. We thought you were just doing that for, for us. No, I'm singing a weird song. It's from a game I've never played before, but I've heard about before. Uh, Sui Koden. Old PlayStation game my buddy Burnham was super into. It's got a decent soundtrack. Very, uh, like, Chinese string instrument inspired soundtrack. Doug, you've been. Do you still watch uh, movie trailers as much as I do? Yeah, every day. So, have you been paying attention to WB and how much they're being like actual, like, just teases about fucking both Mortal Kombat and The Matrix? Yeah. Yes, I have. I'm noticed. literally angry about it. Like, <laughs> show me something! They've shown a little bit of Mortal Kombat, at least, and the costumes look awesome. Mortal Kombat got pushed again because of COVID, I thought. Yeah, but I, I think, I swear I've seen Smoke in one of the trailers. And he or she, I can't even tell because it's so freaking fast, looks awesome. Yeah. Did you ever watch the... Uh, Maybe we've had this conversation, but we drink a lot. Um, did you ever watch the YouTube, like, the web series of Mortal no, Kombat No, I things? never did. Okay. I, I heard of it, I knew of it, I just never watched it. It is, I, I recently rewatched it, like, right before Christmas. It is, like, you can find the first season for free on YouTube. The second season I actually paid for. It's, like, $12 to just buy 10 episodes on YouTube. And it is the... Production value goes like way up. It's fantastic. But also, friggin' Kerry Hiroyuki Tagawa or whatever his name is comes back to play Shang Tsung in the no second way. season. That and it's amazing. He was awesome. But the episodes are only like 10 minutes long each. Also, Casper Van Dien plays Johnny Cage in the second season. Oh, really? <laughs> and That's he's, awesome. He's, he play, he's like a little Jack bitch. Super, dude. He runs away from every fight. You <laughs> will die. <laughs> now I have to go watch that movie again. That's hilarious. Still one of my favorites. Yep. In the Matrix, they're probably the movies I've seen the most often. Same movie. Yeah, I think Mortal Kombat wins it for me still. Not it even just, the Matrix. It came out at a time when I was still right into Mortal Kombat, and it was good. And the was it good? Was phenomenal. It was really good, honey. I, I get that you. I forced you to watch it, and you didn't care for it, but. <laughs> No, I, I, I feel like I mostly just, I think it's hilarious because he, you know. You somehow muted yourself in the middle of that. I think it's a funny joke that, uh, that you know that it's not. Well, come on. It's also Christopher Lambert is freaking rated. Not, Christopher Lambert's it's amazing. It's no Citizen Kane. We know that. Do we just, it was you what keep we muting yourself before you finish your sentence. Sorry. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying anything valuable. Just what? consider, like, I'm, I'm Mortal Kombat playing in the background. Okay. Okay, the original Mortal Kombat is one of, like, the best movies ever made. It is so... It is perfect fan service. It is perfect fan service. Exactly. Yeah. Like, the second one, let's be real, is absolute trash. But yeah, that's yes, exactly. Even though at first it was like, oh, they're going to have all these cool people in it. But the movie was just so bad. They just threw in a bunch of characters 
like the plot didn't make sense. They it, just jumped like, around. I don't know. I feel like the first one was made with love. Even it was yeah. cheesy as hell. The first one was made with love. The second one was just like let's capitalize. I don't know. Assume. I could have a whole podcast about talking about the Mortal Kombat movies. Let's be real. That's going to be my first podcast, actually, is just talking about more, the first Mortal Kombat movie. Lyndon Ashby as Johnny Cage is fantastic. Robin Shu as Liu Kang is fantastic. Christopher Lambert as Raiden is hilarious, which makes it fantastic. Perfect. You know, I never, I never liked Raiden in the video game. Like, I thought he was like, like. Like those his... were hard to use. Properly. No, 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 but like not not him as like a playable character, but like his, like the character of him seemed like this like not what Christopher Lambert brought to him, and he made it so friggin' awesome, you know. I I I I agree until the recent ones like Mortal Kombat 10, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, I think he they did a really good job with Raiden in the recent games. Like if you've watched any of the lore or anything. No, like, and, and I'm really just talking about, like, old school, like, Mortal Kombat 1, fair, fair. 2, 3. I actually watched, like, the movies. Like, well, not the movies, but, like, gameplay of, of the games, which are like movies. Like, there's there's three hours of, like, story. Yeah, so, like, even though I, I've i never played any of the Injustice games, I've watched a bunch of those movies. Yeah, like, me too. The story They're is, so is cool. actually pretty cool, yeah. I still never buy into, like, Dark Superman, though. It just, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Dark anyone else? Fine. Dark Superman? Doesn't feel right. Oh, wow, I'm getting my butt kicked. Okay. Roy's always said that uh, the reason why DC keeps failing is they keep trying that kind of thing. And well, the they try Superman it. just doesn't work. You can't do it. So, what's weird to me is that on Netflix, I don't know if they're still on there, but there's a bunch of animated DC movies, including the Superman mm -hmm. movies, that are fantastic. Like, they're really good Superman yep. stories. Uh, they're really well done. Like, just translate those to freaking live action. And you All-Star Superman is one of the best superhero stories I've ever seen in my life and it's just an animated show on Netflix it's like an hour and a half long movie but it's amazing like you would make so much money off of a story like that it's insane to me that they can't figure it out like it's an animated Superman cartoon that I'm pretty sure I teared up at like Jesus Christ like, just figure it out, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. It's there. Do you, to this day, Colin, I remember when we went and saw... It was... I think it might have just been you and me, and we went and saw the second Mortal Kombat movie at the, <laughs> at the theater. I still remember what you said. So when we come out of the theater, we're both speechless. And I said... I said, well, that was kind of cheesy. And you said, that was great big logs of cheese. I remember that to this day. It's just, it was bad. Oh, I did not make it. <laughs> so this this one actually sure. sucks without a jump ability. So if you time it just right, you can run along the side and, and get past, but I did not time it right. Um, can somebody hit Nor the switch on I. the wall? Yeah, there's a switch on the wall. Can someone turn this off? Oh, we get 12 deaths, or however many. Well, deaths. I think it was 14. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was like still four split among. No, all. the more people yeah, we, we have, the more deaths we get. But gotcha. oh, that makes sense. Does anyone have a heal? Oh yeah, yeah. I can heal. By the way, I I have not been paying attention to heals too much, but I can also heal as a tank because paladins are awesome. I uh, don't have a lot of healing ability. So you should look out for the... There's an ability to lower the cooldown of your vial. You can actually stack it so you have zero yeah. cooldown on the vial. I saw that. 
I never take that. You can you you can stack it up to three, and you have zero cooldown on your heal. Yeah, no, that would be good. That's a good point. Yeah. Hi, Greg and Putum. Hello. Oh, sorry, we'll turn audio off. You guys playing well? We um, are playing well, yes. Yeah, but sorry. Sorry, but we're, we we're all we're, 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 we're just kind of dicking around. It's very easy, so we can we can chats. We can have chats. That's okay. We might watch the Sopranos and then come back. You could also do that, I guess. Like if that's if you feel It'd that's fine. fine. You then, could like, watch the Sopranos uh, while you're talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> How far along are you guys in Sopranos? Season three, episode four, or something like that. Yeah. You haven't got to the to the like. There's a lull. You haven't made it there yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll be back. Fair yeah, enough. Fine. Good. Right. Good chat. See you later. <laughs> Welp, see you later. See, all three of these are useless to me. Yeah, me too. Wow. I wanted all of them. When I polymorph, when I soul shape, oh my or when goodness. I'm invisible. Oh, there's I'm a never... trap there, Colin. There's a big knife there. No, oh, no, that's not me. That was me? Oh. I just got uh, an ability I haven't seen before, and it's awesome. If I use Divine Shield, it hits everyone. Yeah, that's really useful, actually. That's nice. E especially when you're running through traps. <laughs> well, I have a thing. I have a thing here for everybody. Oh, I picked up the uh, ravenous animus cell, by the way. Fair. So, Colin, if there's something in particular you want to use it on, let me know. Uh, uh, it's only usually when I see the the people from Ardenweald. Those give you the flies. The... What it, what level is it where you get all those um, like it's like black and blue junk on the ground that hurts you? Yeah, you can get the the pools. No, that's a yeah. different. That's a different. Uh, like, it too, it's a different instance. No, I know, but but that uh, that too. ravenous anima cell on that level is so valuable. Yeah, yeah it, like same you with can, the like, fire and break it. Yeah, and fire. Those are the yeah. Th those are the ones that like can like. It goes, the level goes from being super difficult to being, like, easy mode. Yeah. Totally. You see how you stop and let it go by and then you go through? Just check. I'd rather take it to the place. Ah, that's cool. That's a trap, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, this is how, this is how ballers deal with this stuff, okay? I'm just gonna use this on him, so yeah. Everybody stop anymore. In the oh, middle no. of axes. Yeah. I, I, shackle almost never bothers me, anyways. I, I'm surprised my my pally tank. That's the first one he gets. He's like always get the the shackle one. Really? Yeah. You can interrupt shackle. Maybe, maybe we're just not good at interrupting. <laughs> Does anyone have a hunter? Nobody? Like, yes, but not in Shadow. I have one of every class, yeah. Hunter's I, my uh, least favorite by far. Really? I really like my hunter, actually, but uh, I, I don't know. I only recently restarted playing it, and I don't know what my interrupt is. They all do have an interrupt, right? No, not everyone has an interrupt. Yeah, oh, Hunter's got it. a an arrow that interrupts. Is do they okay? Um, yeah. So, but I don't have. I'm not doing a ranged weapon. Does yeah, she survived. Oh, you're doing the survival. <laughs> I've never done survival. <laughs> in what, don't laugh at it. What's it been like? Twelve years. Well, survival is a PvP thing, right? So I've never done it. Oh, I didn't know that. Survival's not. I, I like survival because I like survival stories. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Warlock doesn't have an interrupt. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I leveled to 48 until I changed over to Dagara for Shadowlands um, as a Warlock, and they do not have an interrupt, and I was like, like, what do I put on my number four? <laughs> like, my number four is interrupt. <laughs> Hmm. 
so I, I need to know more why survival is PvP. I, I don't know anything about survival. But usually no, I'm sorry, it's I shouldn't be... I shouldn't generalize like that. It was designed for PvP in the in like, originally. It's so that you can you don't you can fight without being at range. Because requiring you to be at range is not is not viable in PvP because then your opponents know that and they're just getting close. And yeah, it's oh, not. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. He can do some. Oh, Jexy, oh, no! Died. You can only take so many traps in the face. <laughs> Sorry, thing. Doesn't matter. I don't think uh, I hate these trap floors 100%. But uh, I don't think we're gonna need the deaths. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, that's broken. What is? I just got an ability. So I have my the paladin thing that gives me wings called Avenging Wrath. Like it. Fastly increases my damage. It lets me use my my ability called Hammer of Wrath whenever I want, rather than like an execute. And I just got an ability that says Hammer of Wrath. The thing you can use while you're in Avenging Wrath extends Avenging Wrath by three seconds. So it's just I think it, during boss fights I'll have it forever. It sounds okay. Well, it's I haven't seen these before. I think it's cool. I'm like maybe maybe Paladin is fun for Torgas. No, oh, sorry, I I didn't. That wasn't sarcastic. I just mean, I don't know Paladin that well. No, I didn't think you were being sarcastic. I just wanted to elaborate. So I got an animal power that that makes time warp last for three hundred percent longer. But then we all die. Oh, really? I think I'm going to take that one. <laughs> do it. And the, I assume it resets when we use it. What does Time floor. Warp do? That's that's the... his bloodlust. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So why why do we all die? Can we can we make that not happen? I assume that you would only use that on the last boss. Okay, fair okay. enough. Okay, yeah, Doug, please, boss. please use it on the last boss. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We are going to destroy absolutely. him. All right, I'm taking uh, it. Oh my god, you guys. If it was me, I'm not skilled enough to, like, restrain myself. Oh my god, that's, that's, that's funny. No, that that is so... Layer 8 is supposed to be pretty hard. Especially for the Twisting Corridors. I don't it's know probably about, made for that. Yeah. I don't know about... Um... At specific power, but just so you know, Doug, the the time warp resets after every floor, so you can actually use I it have... on. Oh, okay, good. I uh, sorry, you know what? I haven't been using it tonight, and I just to make sure. But yeah, usually when I'm playing solo, I use it on every last. Oh, okay, because yeah, you you definitely can use it, and then it'll you'll get it the cooldown reset on the next yeah. floor. So yeah, most most of most long term abilities reset between floors. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know about that specific. Except Avenging Wrath apparently does. Now three hundred percent one. Animal power. I don't think I want to be using. Yeah, I'm not sure we want to test it out. Yeah. Well, we get one free test basically. We have eleven deaths. We. It's pretty funny. Colin, I'm just pulling everything. Please. Nothing can kill me. I'm invincible. And nothing can kill you. I countered that bad guy and he just didn't care.
Damn. Why it just hurt me so much? So the, all the skeletons blow up at the end. Oh yeah, if you stand in the skeleton's explosion, it like increases damage done to you by like 10% for each stack you get or something like that. Speaking of, I almost just died. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll kind of keep an eye out in case we were taking No, I got self-heals, I just... It came up, it snuck up on me. When you're used to being invincible and you actually start taking damage, sometimes it uh, catches you off guard. A chest here. Sweet. So we go dick with it because I hate the the switch one. Oh, I love them. I'll. Uh, I don't mind taking a stab at it. Okay, it's up. The one with the change I don't find bad at all. The one with the. The colored with the colors yeah it's kind of confusing no, the colored one's easy you find the one that, that modifies all four first you hit that one until it's open then you find the one that hits three first and then you hit that one until it's open like it there's there's it always, always four, there's three, always one two, that one? hits four there's always one that hits three there's always one that hits two there's always one that hits just itself it's easy you just gotta find the order Yeah, so it's easy, and like, fuck you guys for thinking it's hard. <laughs> no, you know what, I actually, guys. I just, read that dumb. on uh, Wowhead on how to do that chess, and I tried it, and it still didn't work, but I, I obviously didn't do it right. But... No, it's it's not that easy. No, the, the colored one is super easy. The chain one is super easy. No, the chain one literally. I hate. It literally took me like three seconds. Chain one I hate. I, I get that it's just there's a unique combination. I just I I don't pay enough attention to figure out the unique combination. Sometimes like, doing the chain one, I'm so focused on the unique combinations, I don't notice when it opens. Yeah. <laughs> like I just don't notice that it's already open. Just like, keep doing it. You're like, oh, I already had it. If it wasn't for Colin, like actually playing with me and watching what I did, I half the time I would yeah, it. solve it, right. not know I solved it. Okay. Oh, he's using it. Okay. Hopefully it resets, or we just need to rush through to the next boss. Oh, we just rush through. There you go. Or we just die. I mean, that's fine too. Like, it's not a big deal. You three said three minutes. It lasts three minutes. Wow. Yeah. Three minutes of time work. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. amazing. Go, man, go. How much time do we have? Uh, do you think we missed something? Uh, no, you know what? It does reset. As soon, no, re as soon as you get to the next floor, you die. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, we instantly <laughs> die. Oh. What? I, I killed everybody. You okay. Bugging me so, at least now we know how that works. So, please I don't use you that. Guys let me use your no, we can use it again. Yeah. Just on the boss, because we're on the last floor. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yep. The boss is going to die so quick. Damn, that's a weird ability. I like it. Yeah, me too. Three minutes of time warp is pretty powerful, so you got to pay the price. I've also up... I want to count it. Time warp increases... Timer increases the rate at which time passes by 60% in addition to what else it does. What? So is it like That's a... why all our casting is so fast? So I've upgraded time warp twice 
plus made it last for three minutes. Oh. But then we have to die. I bet this guy. Oh, another one. There we go. Ninety <laughs> percent. So, even though he's he's got one point two million life, I bet you he dies in like less than a minute. Like we're gonna crush this guy. I lost all my buffs. Oh yeah. Everybody. Needs Cause buffs. you die. That's right. No idea what's coming. Mm -hmm. Poor guy, he's fucked. Jesus. <laughs> I can't keep up with my casting. Yeah, like, what is this? Like, you've hit this button. Would you like to hit it again? <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I wish it was that's so much like fun. That. That was, that was funny. Get out before you die. Look at me run. I don't run like an idiot. I'm so fast. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go did. fast.